For more than a century, archaeologists believed they understood the story of the first Americans. They thought they knew when humans arrived, how they traveled, and where they first set foot on this vast continent. The answers seem settled, almost comfortable. But history has a way of surprising us, especially when the truth is buried deep beneath layers of untouched earth. And in the windswept wilderness of Oregon, a discovery has just surfaced that challenges everything. Something so old, so unexpected, that it doesn't just shift the timeline, it tears it wide open. It begins in eastern Oregon, a rugged place where the land feels ancient in every direction you look. Sharp volcanic cliffs tower over sagebrush plains. Dry riverbeds snake across the valley floors. And scattered throughout this wild terrain are caves carved by wind, water, and the slow sculpting power of time. To most people, they look empty. But to archaeologists, these caves are natural vaults, sealed pockets of history where ancient moments can remain frozen for thousands upon thousands of years. This landscape, especially the deep rock shelters hidden along its basalt ridges, has always drawn the attention of researchers. Not because they expected a groundbreaking discovery, but because Oregon's caves are unusually stable. Earthquakes are rare, the soil is dry, the layers of sediment build up slowly and cleanly. It's a kind of geological environment where fragile traces of early human life, ashes, bones, even tiny flakes of stone, can survive almost untouched. And so, year after year, teams returned hoping that one day, the land would reveal something new. Excavations began quietly in the early 2000s. A small group of archaeologists from several universities set up camp, planning to study known late Ice Age cultures. They expected to uncover what so many other sites in North America had revealed. Clovis Age materials dating to around 13,000 years ago. Maybe a hearth, maybe a few flakes from tool making, maybe the bones of hunted animals. Nothing extraordinary. Nothing controversial. But, as their shovels went deeper, layer by layer, the story began to shift. Instead of typical late Pleistocene deposits, they encountered strata that were older, undisturbed, and rich with material no one expected. Where they thought they'd find a simple Clovis layer, they instead found an entire sequence of sediment far older than anyone predicted. The soil was darker, firmer, packed with microscopic clues of ancient life. Suddenly, the team realized they weren't just excavating a known chapter of history, they were uncovering a forgotten one. For decades, the dominant theory held strong. The first people to enter the Americas were the Clovis culture, arriving roughly 13,000 years ago. Their distinctive stone spear points were found all across the continent, and for a long time, that broad distribution made it easy to assume they were the first. Textbooks repeated it. Museums taught it. Generations of students grew up hearing it as fact. But then, things started to crack. Sites like Monteverde in Chile hinted at a much earlier human presence. Meadowcroft in Pennsylvania showed layers that didn't fit the Clovis first model. And Oregon's own Paisley Caves began producing evidence that humans may have lived here thousands of years before Clovis appeared. Still, many researchers hesitated. The older sites were debated critiqued or dismissed. The evidence needed to be stronger, clearer, undeniable. And then came the breakthrough. Deep in one of Oregon's caves, the team uncovered a cluster of stone flakes lying beside fragments of bone and charcoal. At first glance, it looked like a simple hearth area. Some tools, some burned material, nothing special. But the deeper they looked, the more astonishing it became. Many of the bones belong to animals that lived in Oregon during the late Pleistocene, species that roamed the region long before any Clovis hunters ever existed. Some bones carried cut marks, sharp, deliberate slices left by stone tools. The charcoal was tightly concentrated, as if from a controlled fire rather than a natural burn. And embedded in the sediment were the unmistakable fingerprints of human craftsmanship. This wasn't geological accident. This wasn't animal activity. This was people. 
People who lived here, hunted here, used fire here, long before the world believed humans had even reached this corner of the continent. But to prove such a claim, the team had to understand the layers of Earth themselves. The cave stratigraphy became the key. Clean, crisp layers stacked like pages in a book, each representing a different moment in time. Some layers were shaped by ancient floods, others by wind-blown volcanic ash from long quiet eruptions. Each line of sediment was a timestamp, and none of them had been disturbed. That alone made the site extraordinary. Scientists collected samples of charcoal, bone collagen, and organic residues. They sent them off for radiocarbon analysis, the most trusted method for aging ancient remains. When the results came in, the room fell silent. Some of the dates stretch beyond 18,000 years before present, far older than Clovis, far older than almost any known human site in North America. After calibration, using known atmospheric data to adjust radiocarbon values, the ages may go back even further. The evidence pointed to a reality few had dared to imagine. Humans were in Oregon thousands of years before the ice-free corridor was open, thousands of years before the Clovis culture existed. But the story didn't end with radiocarbon dates. The stone tools added another layer of proof. Many pieces were made from high-quality chert and obsidian. These weren't random stones lying around the cave. They were deliberately chosen materials. Some of them carried from volcanic regions far outside the immediate area. That meant mobility, planning, knowledge of the landscape. And when scientists examined the tools under high magnification, they found proteins, tiny traces from large Ice Age animals. In other words, these tools have been used to hunt and butcher megafauna that disappeared long before the end of the Pleistocene. And humans were there to do it. Suddenly, the lives of these early people became visible. They weren't simply travelers passing through. They were skilled hunter-gatherers who returned to this cave again and again, likely following seasonal migrations of animals. They understood fire. They shaped tools with precision. They moved across long distances to gather materials. And they all did this during a time when enormous ice sheets covered much of the continent. The world was colder harsher, and far more dangerous. Yet, somehow, they made their way into the Pacific Northwest and carved out a living. This discovery changes everything. If humans were living in Oregon more than 18,000 years ago, then the old timeline collapses. Clovis is no longer the beginning. It's simply one chapter among many. The new evidence suggests humans may have arrived by coastal routes long before glaciers blocked inland travel. It hints at earlier migrations, multiple waves of arrivals, and perhaps even cultures we have yet to discover. Even more tantalizing, the deepest layers of the cave have not been fully excavated. Beneath the already shocking dates may lie evidence even older, remnants from a time when the first footsteps into the Americas were only just beginning. But scientists remain cautious. They call the current evidence a minimum age, acknowledging that the true story may stretch much further into the past. In the end, the Oregon discovery does more than rewrite archaeology textbooks. It reshapes our understanding of humanity itself. It reveals that the first Americans were explorers, innovators, survivors, navigating a glacial world long before we imagined. Their story was buried under centuries of sediment, waiting for the moment when careful hands, sharp eyes, and advancing science would bring it to light. And now, finally, that moment has arrived. The soil has spoken. The timeline has shifted. And the mystery of the first Americans has become deeper, older, and far more astonishing than anyone ever expected.